Hey guys, Anime Gypsy here with another Shokugeki no Soma review. But before I get into this chapter, I have to discuss something. If you are in an enclosed Facebook group or an enclosed Reddit group or anything of the sort, and you read the spoiler scanlations, the only Japanese scanlations, don't post your information, don't post the spoilers on these enclosed groups. Because you have people like me who make reviews, who also participate in these communities, who also interact in these communities, that get spoiled. And it's no fun this way. I was, I was told that this chapter was amazing, and I was going to do a live reaction to this chapter. However, because of a select few individuals in an enclosed group on Facebook, I was thoroughly spoiled, and I realized, okay, there's no bigger spoiler that could come after this, so there is no point in doing a live reaction. So if you're a member of an enclosed group and you post stuff relating to spoilers, please don't. There are others you're gonna make there are others who don't want this. You're going to make more enemies than you will friends. That aside, let's get on with the chapter. The chapter in and of itself is by far the best chapter of Shokugeki no Soma I have seen in a while. Actually, scratch that. This is probably the best Shokugeki no Soma chapter I have seen. Best Shokugeki no Soma chapter. 10 out of 10, easy. 10 out of 10. My first Shokugeki no Soma chapter with a perfect rating. And it really does deserve a perfect rating. Because not only do we have the, the, the revelations, we have the comedy, and we have, you know, the character interactions and the characterizations of different characters happening all, o all over this chapter. It's pretty nice. It's a pretty nice chapter. The big revelation, obviously, is the fact that Joichiro Saiba has... Uh, has a son called uh, Asahai Saiba, and it's it, it, it's mind blowing and opens so many pathways, so many pathways for the story. But first, I want to talk about what's going on and what's going to happen in the future in this series. I honestly believe that Joichiro Saiba is a member of Le Cuisinier Noir for quite a while, and I still do. I still do. Even after this chapter happened, I think the only way Joichiro Saiba met his son Asahai is because he was a part of the underground community. And I'm guessing that Asahai became a member of the underground community because his father was a member of the underground community way, way, way back when, right after he left the academy. So, I think the connection is deep here. And as for Rindo-senpai, I, I do not know if Rindo has any connection to um, to Joichiro Saiba, maybe Rindo is Joichiro's daughter. Who knows? Maybe she's his uh, nephew. I mean, <laughs> Yuto Tsukada. Uh, now that aside, we I want to discuss first and foremost Cho Soma's reaction in this chapter. He said. For all we know, it could be my father. So even Soma sides with me when I say that it could very could have very well been Joichiro Saiba. Because, this is the thing, we don't know that much about Joichiro Saiba. And Joichiro Saiba's personality, he, he's the easygoing type guy that really doesn't care about a lot. He does care about the, elite, the new Elite 10. So I originally thought that he did this just to test them out as one of my theories, but apparently, no, it was Joichiro's son, Asahai Saiba. And this opens a lot of pathways, again, when it comes to his relationship to Soma. How, what's it going to be like? Is it going to be the Gon-type relationship of blood doesn't matter? Or is it going to be the cliche, oh my god, I have found my long-lost brother and type deal? Or is it going to be somewhere in between? Please let me know what you guys think is going to happen down in the comments section below. And I just want to say, the comedy doesn't end there. You have you have my man Koga, you have my man Koga, and you have Nena with excellent comedic scenes. You have Koga being like, okay, time out, time out, time out. Who is this cyber guy? 
And then you have Ishki Satoshi being like, okay, first of all, he is the best of his graduating generation, and he is Soma's father. And immediately, Nana is like, so that's where your hidden strength comes from. And this is something that Nana has actually talked about during the Regimental de Cuisine, when she was like, okay, even if, he, even if Soma is a beginner, there is something odd about him. There is something going on here. Where is this strength coming from? And I really don't want this series to go the way of bloodlines, the way of eugenics, and oh, the superior bloodline. I don't want that to happen because this series has been championing, has been championing the hard working, the hard worker. The hard worker in this series is the one that does the best. Something that Shinomiya said, something that Soma said, something that everyone said. So I don't want the eugenics destiny type deal to be mixed in with the Shoku Geki no Soma formula. I think it would be a very bad mix. It will be simply just like the Naruto series back when the whole, oh, child of destiny, Naruto. No, no. You either are the hard worker or you're the child of destiny. You're not both. And here I see Soma, and this is the thing that I think makes a lot of people like this series. Soma is the hard worker. Soma is the, the manifestation of the guy that beats himself up every single day so he becomes better. And this is what I love about Soma, and I'm sure this is what you guys love about Soma too. Tell me if I'm wrong down in those comments section below. Tell me what it is that you guys like about the series, about Destiny, about the hard worker. Tell me what you guys think about what, I'm, what I just said down in the comments. Now, other than that, there is one more thing I want to discuss. And it is this theory that... Joichiro Saiba let his sons uh, Sahai win. And I, I could see that happening because of two things. The first one, Joichiro Saiba has been set up to be the last person Soma defeats. You know, it's, it's that big thing where Soma's whole, the whole plot of the story lies on Soma defeating his father. So if Soma defeats his father, then the series ends. This is this this is this is the whole plot of the series. This is where the whole plot lies. And if there's someone stronger, then that would kind of defeat the point. That that would defeat the point. So you have to defeat the guy that defeated your father. Doesn't line up as well. The other reason is because uh, his son straight up says thank you for everything right after he defeats his father. And I'm and I'm here wondering like thank you for what? That you just you just kicked his ass. Thank you for what? Okay, maybe he's saying thank you because uh, Joichiro took it easy on him and let him win. And that would make sense because, again, he is supposed to be the last person, the last line, the strongest person in the series. He's supposed to be the individual that Soma beats at the very end, ending the series. So that makes sense. And that would make sense in terms of prolonging the series. Because... the. <sighs> Yeah. Tell me what you guys think. I I'm curious to know what your opinion is. And uh, if you like the video, please leave a like. Until next time, guys, this is, this is Anime Gypsy, and I'm out. See you guys later. Bye.